Amen. You may be seated. But when Joshua said, whose side are you on? Jesus said, he said, I didn't come to take sides. I came to take charge. You follow me into the battle. You follow me through your life. Get behind me. Follow me into the adventure. I love what Vince points out in the book that we're going to be reading together this month. He says, you know, when Jesus calls us to live this life for him and we want to get behind him and live the adventure and not just settle for the t-shirt, he said, it's kind of like when Jesus, when his, in the beginning of his ministry, started going up to people and saying, follow me, and people would drop their fishing nets and follow him. They got on the journey with Jesus. The life of living in God's fullness is following him. It's engaged in the adventure that God has for us as his children and receiving the fullness of blessing that comes with it as well. To have life to the full as we follow him. And Jesus says, I've come to take charge. And if you'll get behind me, if you'll follow me, I will lead you to the places in your life to the opportunities in your life that will have impact not just here, but into eternity. The question is, will we follow? Will we follow? Will we listen obediently to God's heart and will? Folks, I believe today with all of my heart, God is calling you to stretch your wings and to soar on the lofty heights in the heavens experiencing the abundance and the fullness of God's blessing, experiencing the life and the joy and the power that God has for you. Not that it's all going to be easy, but that you'll see God with you on the adventure every day that you live. And that you'll tap into the potential He's put into your life to make a difference in your time on this planet, on earth. That you'll grasp His vision to meet the needs of those around you, That you'll step out in action and you'll raise the sail, you know, as Paul did, and let the Spirit of God blow His power into your life and set you on that journey to follow Him wherever He may lead so that you can experience His power at work within you in ways you've never imagined or dreamed. He wants you to soar. He doesn't want His children settling for the t-shirt. Not our Heavenly Father. He wants you on the boat with him, taking the journey. Will you get on board? Will you grasp his vision? You know, when my two oldest kids were growing up, we loved to play the game hide-and-seek, probably like many of you do or have in your life. And When kids are around that age of four or five, what's really fun about the game hide-and-seek is they love to be found. You know what I'm saying? So I, I remember my kids hiding, and they would hide in the most obvious of places. And, and you could see them oftentimes right there. But that's not how you play the game to immediately find them when you're four or five. You kind of live it up. So you, you know, I would look under the bed. Hey, where's Lydia? Is she under the bed? No, she's not there. And I'd hear giggling. And, and I'd say, where's Luke? Is he behind the door? No, he's not there. And in broad sight at times, they'd giggle. And, and you'd keep looking until finally the kids... They jump out and say, here I am, Daddy, here I am. The fun was in being found. You know, folks, when we really open our eyes to God's vision for our lives, what begins to happen is we start noticing the needs of people around us and how God wants to meet those needs through us. And if you listen, if you really listen, you'll hear the cry. You'll hear the call. Here I am. Here I am. Will someone please find me? Will someone please find me? And God's calling you and me as his children, his family, to be about his business of helping bring others into the family, to find them in his power and love and truth to meet those needs. And to let them see Jesus in all of his glory and truth, in all of his love and mercy in us. So you're going to get into the adventure today. 
I pray you will. Let's bow together. Father in heaven, thank you so much for what your word has to teach us, what the examples of those men and women in the pages of Scripture show us about how you've called us to live the abundant, full life. God, would you help us to soar on eagle's wings? If we've been content just to peck at the ground today, I pray you'll help us break out today to begin to stretch our wings on faith and to soar into the fullness of life and blessing and power that you've got for us as your children. Father, I pray that you'd help some of us today to hoist our sails. And I pray that as we do, you would fill our hearts with your fresh wind, your fresh fire. Blow into us your spirit and your power, your renewed vision for what you have for us. Lord, these are difficult times in many ways. I'm sure there are people here looking through 2009 thinking of transition and economic struggle and uncertainty and and they're wondering what it holds. But God, as your children, we know it holds opportunity. Would you show us the way and give us the courage to take action and follow you each step of that way. Today, for some, it's stepping forward and it's having someone pray with them to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord of their lives, the the boss in life, the one who's going to call the shots from this day forward as we turn our hearts over to him. I pray if there's anyone here that wants to give their hearts to Jesus, they would come forward and let one of our prayer partners pray with them today, God, and get set on that journey of the adventure of living with Jesus as his child. Others of us have been in the family, but we've not been on the adventure. God, would you renew us today? Help us to live with your power. As we sing this prayer and this song to you, God, speak to us now. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.